Hi, everyone. Welcome to Akari's Heart Read Aloud. みなさん、こんにちは。Akari's Heart Read Aloud へようこそ。Akari is your host, and I am her friend, Alice. 私はホストのあかりです。英語の文を朗読してくださるのは私の友人であるアリスさんです。Akari has been keeping a personal journal for years that captures her thoughts and feelings about her daily life on Maui, Hawaii. 私はハワイのマウイ島で暮らしながら日々感じたこと、思ったことを英語と日本語で綴ってきました。In this podcast, the journal will be read in both Japanese and English. So, if you want to improve your listening skills in either language, this podcast will provide a rich source of learning material. It's like listening to someone's diary. Also, we hope that it's enjoyable for you, even if you're not currently learning either language. このポッドキャストでは、それらの書き物を英語と日本語の両方で読み上げます。英語を学んでいる方にも、日本語を学んでいる方にとっても、リスニングの力を伸ばす助けになるかと思います。誰かの日記を聞くようなものと思っていただければ、わかりやすいかなと思います。また、どちらの言語も学んでいないという方にも楽しんでいただければ幸いです。You can listen to the script in the target language only first.You can give it a try and see how much you understand.Then you can listen to the Japanese text followed by English or vice versa, a paragraph at a time.This way, You can check how accurate your listening was. Also, read the script aloud with us or shadow us. It will enhance your speaking skills. 最初に皆さんが勉強されている言語のみのテクストを聞けるようになっています。まずは、どれくらいわかるかなと聞いてみてください。その後に、段落ごとに日本語、英語、もしくは英語、日本語と続きます。それを聞いて自分のリスニングがどうであったか答え合わせをしてみてください。また一緒に読み上げシャドーイングもしてみてください。そうすることでスピーキングの力も伸ばすことができます。Each episode has chapters for your convenience, which lets you jump to a particular section of an episode.For now, this feature seems to be supported only on Apple Podcast, YouTube, And our website. Also, the transcripts have the time listed next to each section. それぞれのエピソードにはチャプターを設定してありますのでそちらからお好きなセクションに行けるようになっておりますこのチャプターという機能は現在 Apple Podcast と YouTube と私どものサイトのみで使えるようですまた原稿にはそれぞれのセクションの時間タイムスタンプを明記してあります。At the end of each episode, we will explain a couple of vocabulary words and idioms from the episode. エピソードの最後には、出てきた単語や慣用語の説明もあります。You can visit akaritranslations.com and you will see both English and Japanese transcripts.Again, that's akaritranslations.com ウェブサイトでは原稿が日本語と英語の両方で読めるようになっていますので、あかり translations.com へ行ってみてください。Now, let's get into the tenth episode.At the end of last October, I returned to Japan for the first time in three years and stayed there for three weeks. Three flights after I left Maui, I landed in Matsuyama, where my parents live. Then I drove for an hour to Grandma's straight from the airport. The sun was setting behind me as I entered the mountains. My jet lagged mind was still groping with the fact that I was finally in Japan, and as surreal as it was, I could tell my whole being was slowly coming to ease and breathing deeper. Ah. I am home. I remembered the mountain road like I was here yesterday. Parked my dad's car, carried my suitcase to the entrance, and opened the door with a key. 
It was the first time opening Grandma's house with a key, because she was always there when I went there. I searched for the light switch in the pitch dark with my open hand. The earthen floor of the house lit up. Accessing olfactory memory, I inhaled the air as much as possible and announced, Grandma, I'm home, as I always did. <laughs> no one answered, but the 130-year-old home embraced me. I closed the door behind me, climbed to the raised tatami floor, found more light switches, and approached the traditional Buddhist altar where the memorial tablets for ancestors are kept. I bow to the altar, light an incense, ring the singing bowl, and put my hands together to report that I'm finally back and thank them for my safe travel. For me, who had not been able to return to Japan for a while since my grandma's death in the summer of 2020, seeing the house without her helped my mind and heart fully come to terms with the fact that she was no longer there. I found myself sobbing, but I was not sad anymore. I cried enough when she passed in the summer of 2020. The relief and comfort provided upon my long-desired return to her home wrung out the last bit of tears that I'd not been able to access until then. After I let her physical absence sink in, while feeling her love surrounding me, I looked up at the altar with a smile and said to her and the ancestors, And I'm hungry. Then I washed my hands and started eating a beautiful and nutritious bento dinner my mother had prepared. She'd left it in the car for me. I sang a made-up song as I boiled water to make an instant miso soup. I am home, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am hungry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm alive, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am grateful, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hoping it would amuse the ancestors. I didn't know the night at Grandma's would be that dark and that quiet. It was the first time I'd stayed there by myself. I took a hot bath and went to bed. Feeling securely nestled in the home built by my great-grandpa, it did not take long to fall asleep. And I woke up to this view, filled with light. Now you will hear English, followed by Japanese. One paragraph at a time. ここからは英語と日本語が段落ごとに交互に続きます。Now, let's get into the tenth episode. それでは第10回のエピソードの始まりです。At the end of last October, I returned to Japan for the first time in three years and stayed there for three weeks. 昨年の10月の終わりに3年ぶりに日本に帰国し、3週間ほど滞在した。Three flights after I left Maui, I landed in Matsuyama, where my parents live. Then I drove for an hour to Grandma's straight from the airport. マウイを経ってから3つ目のフライトの後、実家のある松山に降り立った。そのまま車で1時間の祖母の家に直行した。The sun was setting behind me as I entered the mountains. My jet lagged mind was still groping with the fact that I was finally in Japan, and as surreal as it was, I could tell my whole being was slowly coming to ease and breathing deeper. 市街地を抜け、山間地に入ると、背後に太陽が沈んでいくところだった。日本にやっと帰ってきたという事実を、時差ボケの頭でぼんやりと咀嚼していた。これは夢かしらと思う反面、旅の緊張がほどけ、呼吸が深くなっていくのがわかった。Ah, I am home. ああ、やっと帰ってきた。I remembered the mountain road like I was here yesterday. Parked my dad's car. Carried my suitcase to the entrance and opened the door with a key. It was the first time opening Grandma's house with a key because she was always there when I went there. 祖母の家までの山道は昨日来たみたいに覚えていた。借りた父の車を駐車し、スーツケースを下ろして玄関まで転がしていく
、そして鍵を手に玄関を開けた。祖母の家の玄関の鍵を開けるなんて初めてのことだった。だって私が行くときは祖母がいつも家にいたから。I searched for the light switch in the pitch dark with my open hand. The earthen floor of the house lit up. I tailed the de, denki no switch o sagasu. Doma ni hikari ga sasu. Accessing olfactory memory, I inhaled the air as much as possible and announced, Grandma, I'm home, as I always did. Sobo no ye tokuyu no nioi ga, no miso to kokoro no natskashisa no. 金銭に触れ、私は胸いっぱいに息を吸った。そして、おばあちゃん、ただいま、と声に出していった。No one answered, but the 130-year-old home embraced me. おかえり、と言ってくれる人はいなかったけれど、地区130年の家は私を包み込んでくれた。I closed the door behind me. Climbed to the raised tatami floor, found more light switches, and approached the traditional Buddhist altar where the memorial tablets for ancestors are kept. Genkan no doa o shime, ie ni agari, ima no denki o tskeru. So ste, go senzo sama tachi no ihai no aru butsdan ni mukatta. I bow to the altar, light an incense, ring the singing bowl. And put my hands together to report that I'm finally back and thank them for my safe travel. For me, who had not been able to return to Japan for a while since my grandma's death in the summer of 2020, Seeing the house without her helped my mind and heart fully come to terms with the fact that she was no longer there. I found myself sobbing, but I was not sad anymore. I cried enough when she passed in the summer of 2020. 2020年の夏に祖母が亡くなってから日本に帰国できていなかった私には祖母のいない家を見たことで祖母が死んだという事実に私の頭と心の中の現実味がやっと追いついた。次の瞬間、泣いている自分がいたけれど、悲しくて泣いたのではなかった。The relief and comfort provided upon my long desired return to her home wrung out the last bit of tears that I'd not been able to access until then. ずっと帰ってきたかった祖母の家に、やっと帰ってこられて、ほっとした心が、この時までアクセスできなかった涙たちの居場所を見つけた。After I let her physical absence sink in, while feeling her love surrounding me, I looked up at the altar with a smile and said to her and the ancestors, And I'm hungry! 祖母の不在という現実を受け入れ、そして体はなくとも、今も注いでくれている祖母の愛に包まれた私は仏壇のご先祖様と祖母に「私あかりお腹空すきました夕飯を食べさせていただきます」と報告した。Then I washed my hands and started eating a beautiful and nutritious bento dinner my mother had prepared. She left it in the car for me. 手を洗い母が作ってくれていた見た目も美しく、味も素晴らしいお弁当をいただいた。I sang a made up song as I boiled water to make an instant miso soup.I am home, yeah, yeah, yeah.I am hungry, yeah, yeah, yeah.I'm alive, yeah, yeah, yeah.I am grateful, yeah, yeah, yeah.Hoping <笑> it would amuse the ancestors. そして、インスタント味噌汁用のお湯を沸かす間、思いつくままに、イェーイに帰ってきました。イェーイェーイェーイ。お腹空きました。イェーイェーイェーイ。生きています。イェーイェーイェーイ。ありがたいです。イェーイェーイェーイ。と言った具合に、ご先祖様たちに聞かせるように歌った。
I didn't know the night at Grandma's would be that dark and that quiet. It was the first time I'd stayed there by myself. So, no, 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 時差ボケも相まって、寝いるのに時間はかからなかった。And I woke up to this view, filled with light. そして、翌朝目が覚めたら、朝の光に包まれていた。Here are today's English vocabulary and idioms. Olfactory. It's an adjective and it means relating to the sense of smell. Olfaction is a noun, and it means the sense of smell. Although humans' olfaction is not as good as other animals like dogs or elephants, our olfaction can be quite sensitive and can differentiate a million sorts of smells. Also, it's said that smell links memory and emotion much more strongly than any of the other senses. Olfactory は形容詞で嗅覚に関係することを意味します。olfaction は名詞で、嗅覚という意味です。人間の嗅覚は、犬や象のような動物ほど優れてはいません。しかし、私たちの嗅覚は非常に敏感で、100万種類もの匂いを区別することができます。また、五感の中では、嗅覚は、記憶と感情を他のどの感覚よりも強く結びつけると言われています。Made up. This is an adjective and it can mean imaginary, invented, fabricated, or fake. It can be used positively and negatively. In this story, Akari wrote, I sang a made up song. That doesn't mean it was a fake song. It was an improvised song, or a song made up on the spot. If someone said, Person A got into trouble by telling a made up story, it means A did not tell the truth. これも形容詞で、想像上の、発明された、捏造された、偽物のという意味があります。肯定的にも、否定的にも使うことができます。このエピソードの中では、I sang a made up song というように使われています。これは偽物の歌を歌ったという意味ではありません。即興で作った歌を歌ったという意味です。誰かが person A got into trouble by telling a made up story と言ったとしたら、それは彼が作り話を言ったから怒られたよという意味です。Please let me know if you have any questions or comments through the contact form at akaritranslations.com. That's A K A R I translations.com. We look forward to seeing you next time. ご質問やコメントなどございましたら、サイトのコンタクトフォームにてご記入ください。それではまた次回お会いできますことを楽しみにしています。